Welcome back to part two of ducted fan performance. In this video, we will explore the inlet side of the fan and how different duct configurations affect fan performance. We will also demonstrate system effect and its associated consequences. As a reminder, the base performance of the fan is 1500 CFM with no static pressure. Okay, let's begin. Let's add a straight length of round pipe to the inlet. The effect on the fan is actually positive. The fan is moving roughly 3% more air than with a free inlet. The inlet duct is 16 inches in diameter, giving a duct velocity of approximately 1,070 feet per minute. At higher velocities, entry losses might give a different result. Now, we'll add a long radius round elbow onto the duct. This is a SMACNA recommended detail to move air from inside a building to a roof mounted fan. With this elbow and duct, we are back to where we started as far as fan performance. Often, there is not enough room on the roof for this type of installation. Instead, you may see another type of fitting called a box and tap fitting. After replacing the long radius elbow with this fitting, we see the pressure loss is about one tenth of an inch water gauge. Not bad at this low velocity. It should be noted that the box is 19 inches by nine and one half inches. The ratio of these two dimensions is referred to as aspect ratio. The aspect ratio of this fitting is 2 to 1. The closer the ratio is to 1 to 1, the better. The larger the aspect ratio, the more pinched the entrance to the round duct will be, and more dramatic the pressure loss of the fitting. When space is really tight, you will see the box and tap fitting mounted directly on the fan inlet. Simply moving the fitting 30 inches closer to the fan, we have increased the pressure loss of the fitting from 0.1 to 0.5 inches water gauge. You have heard of the term system effect. This is a great example. Simply moving the fitting closer to the fan has dramatically increased the pressure loss and dropped the airflow 20%. To what do we attribute this difference? Looking at the airflow differences, we can see the answer. With the 30 inch duct guiding the airflow into the fan, we can see the airflow is straight and smooth. When we put the box and tap directly on the fan, however, we see something completely different. We see rotating vortices spinning the air into the inlet. The airflow pattern is constantly dancing around with the vortex moving up and down, side to side, changing rotation, and even forming two counter-rotating vortices. This ever-changing airflow can be heard as pulsating, thrumming, or surging sound. Listen to the sound as the airflow enters the fan. We can also see the pressure loss swinging wildly with the changing airflow patterns. When the airflow is spinning in the direction of the fan rotation, the pressure drops. And when it is rotating opposite the fan, the pressure rises. Surging, unstable airflow with a wildly varying pressure is not ideal. So what can we do to fix the problem? To address this common concern, Cook designed a fitting that takes up the same space as the box and tap fitting, but without the problems. We call this our no loss inlet fitting. Instead of up to one half inch of pressure loss for the box and tap fitting, this fitting has essentially no pressure loss and stabilizes the airflow. This fitting can be made to orient in many different directions and in a wide array of sizes as the application demands and can be incorporated into a curb cap mount to minimize the number of roof openings. Summarizing, we have demonstrated the varying effect that different types of fittings can have on fan and system performance. Fitting selection should not be left to chance. The selection of fittings should balance first cost against pressure loss and physical space constraints. Pay particular attention when in close proximity to the fan as the effect of a fitting can be amplified dramatically and can cause unstable fan performance. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and watch for more videos. If you have suggestions about any subjects you would like to see covered, send them to marketing at laurencook.com.